Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bloody Platinum. Now, we are in Jubilife City. What could we be doing there? I mean, last episode we caught the legendary beasts. Who could be next? Huh. I don't know. But, do we go over here? I don't think so. Um, that wouldn't make sense. I mean, the next Pokemon... Well, I'm sure you can guess who they might be, and this is where we caught the majority of the legendary birds, but no, they they may be roaming, but no, we don't go over there, huh? Do we go over near Canalave? No, that would make more sense if Darkrai were over there, because, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, but no, what's up? Let's check up here, and... Oh, oh, never fought this person. Oh well, and wow, that's some really glitchiness, but eh, this will be a quick battle. <laughs> Level 70, oh wow, um, okay. Uh, she's got a lot of Pokemans, but let's just waterfall everything. Uh-oh, uh -huh, I, hope, I hope I don't get enough experience, because look how close to leveling up I am. Wow. Uh-oh, that was a lot of experience. I don't want experience. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Uh... Alright, only one more. Hopefully, hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't level up. Good, okay. I can't get into one more battle with you, though. Alright, Oddish, now we leave me alone. Uh, wow, I didn't put up a repel, but let's go into the Ravaged Path. I mean, nobody knows anything about this place, but we never actually went and explored it, really. I mean, there's some stuff here, but... I mean, nothing of big importance. Oh, there's Rock Tomb, that might be useful. Um, but not really, because it's rock tomb and it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Let's go on the water a bit, um... What's over here? It's just... Rock smash. Yeah, B-Barrel doing... Zombie B-Barrel doing his good stuff, because he's a zombie B-Barrel and he's the zombie. He's like, <laughs> What's over here, though? That, that, that looks like an interesting item that I might want to get, but... Wow, this is annoying, though. I got to make that. Um, what's over here? Ooh, a luck incense. That's... that's cool. Uh, let's do some rock smash -ish in this. Hmm. It's just rock smash -ish -ish in this over here, too. Um, maybe? No, there couldn't be any legendaries in here. I mean, this is right in the beginning of the game. I mean, I might just be... This might just be a goof-around episode just to explore the ravaged path, right? Oh, there's Water Pulse, though. That's... That's pretty cool. Um... Why am I trying to teach it to anyone? I mean, it's Water Pulse. Meh. And let's just... Surf on Archie a little bit more, and go down here, and... Hmm. But, no. I don't... I think I'm gonna stick around in here a little bit longer, because, well, It's a ravage path. It's pretty cool. <laughs> rock smash a bunch of stuff so that we can run around a bit more. Let's see if there's... See if they implemented that whole thing like in Heart Gold Soul Silver, where if you smash rocks, you can get some stuff out of it. I'm not thinking they did. <laughs> and huh. let's see, rock smash. It'll. We got a lot more space in here to run around now. Oh, our repel wore off. Eh, 
We don't want any unnecessary Pokemons to show up, and oh, uh, we got a big pearl, that's cool. And we're just smashing some rocks with our zombies, because zombies know how to smash rocks really well. And let's smash these rocks too, just, just for the sake of smashing rocks. And... Yeah, I know, this is really boring. Uh, can you figure out that we're trying to hunt down a legendary Pokemon right now? <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, both of our legendaries are actually hiding in here. I guess they didn't have any place to put them, so they're like, Ah, let's put it in here. Just, just for the sake of putting it in places, so... Yeah! That's a lot of fun just running around doing nothing. And I think we have more space in the back, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I almost ran outside and we ran out of repel. But, yeah. How are you all today? I'm, like I said before, when I recorded the Mew episode, this is recorded right afterwards because I, it's only 8 o'clock. I can post this, but I can post that episode by midnight and be good. I gotta get a regular time to upload at if I don't mess up like I did before and not save my episode, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, wow, they, the, these guys have an insanely low encounter rate. I thought it was 1%, but apparently not. And I would be going on the water, but you can't encounter them on the water, which is kind of annoying. I wish you could. Because, well, <laughs> it would make sense once you find... Once you find out who it is. Actually, it would make more sense if one of them was on the land, and the other was on the water. Which, this actually brings up a good question. Um... Many of you know about the Scorched Slab from the Hoenn region. It's right outside of Fortree City, and... It's where you pick up Sunny Day. What's the purpose of it? I mean, I looked up the purpose of it, and nothing turns up. There is no purpose to the Scorched Slab. I'm not sure, let's... Oh, no items. Oh well. But yeah. I that br I've been meaning to ask that forever. Why why is it there? <laughs> Do any of you know? Because I, th there's no purpose to it. I mean, it's just like oh, we need to add in sunny day. Let's throw in this random place in the game where you can, where it has no backstory and make and will make everybody question what it is. Just to put in Sunny Day. I mean, I, why not just take it out? Honestly, why not just take out Sunny Day? I mean, I don't think we would mind. Back in 3rd gen, it's not that useful because not many people battled competitively. Now, yes, because of the whole... Uh, verse linker thing, I'm... I don't know what it is, but yeah, the now it's useful, but I don't know. It, it wasn't useful when the games came out. And... Up, up, up! Here we go, finally! Wow, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that they kept the Shadow Lugia from XD. All right. Um, yeah, you probably figured that it was Lugia, didn't you? Uh, Lugia and how oh. It is, and wow, that was a crit, okay. <laughs> That's fine, get the crits out of the way right now. And Swift, okay, that sucks. Um, and ooh, ooh, okay, cut, let's see how much that does. 
All right. We, wow, that was really, really quick. Um, let's toss a quick ball to see. Yeah, I figured as much. What is with the sound? Is the sound bad on yours, too? I mean, maybe if I unplug this. Maybe it's just my... Maybe it's just my stereo. It's not working right. Let's toss a timer ball. Yeah, it's just my stereo, I guess. My stereo was glitching up, and I couldn't hear the other side of the stuff. Yeah. Um, but let's toss a dust ball. Lugia, you're gonna be a pain. Um, toss an ultra ball just for the heck of it. One. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Toss another timer ball because we got plenty of them. One. Yeah. Ancient power. Ooh, that might actually hurt. Yeah. Um, let's toss a premier ball. Nothing. Not bad. That's fine. Ancient power. Gonna take us out. Because, yeah. Gonna take us out. Um. Let's go into P element just for the level's sake. And let's toss a nest ball. Because we got good level difference on us. Okay, ancient power, nothing, or, okay, maybe a little. Huh. Timer ball again, just, just for the sake of timer balling. Yeah, nothing. Extra sensory. Luffy is actually pretty offensive, I'm surprised. Luxury ball, why not? Yeah, maybe. Extra sensory again. That's actually stab, that's, that's, that's actually... Perfect for Lugia, wow. That, that's a stab, a special attack, wow. That's actually really deadly. Ultra Ball, nothing, okay. Just spam Ultra Balls, I guess. For now, and extra sensory. Oh wow, that was a crit, okay. Um, let's actually try a timer ball before P-Element goes down. And... One... Okay, yeah. Natural gift? No, swift. Oh, wow, okay, that... Actually, let's heal up. Just because we can. Because Lugia is leaving us with enough HP to heal up. And... Healing, healing, gotta go healing. Extra sensory. Yeah, okay. Um... Hmm. Try a timer ball again. Let's hold A this time. Nothing. Okay. Um, Swift. Not gonna do anything. Um, let's try a great ball just for the sake of a great ball. And, nope. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna stop, pause the recording, and wait until we catch him then. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw one more ultra ball and another timer ball. And then I'll stop the recording. So, Ultra Ball, one. Yeah, nothing, okay. Um, and Timer Ball. Um, anything, one? No, okay. Um, meet you back when we catch him then. See you then. Alright, there we call. Go, caught with a nest ball right when Cyberdemon came out. Lugia, the diving Pokemon, it sleeps in the deep sea trench. It, if it flaps its wings, it is said to cause a 40 day storm. Give a nickname? No, no nickname. Alright, now we gotta go hunt down the other one. And, but first we gotta revive some peeps. Because, yeah, Lugia was actually pretty beastly. He took down P Element even with a crit, which. <laughs> Yeah, it was a crit. It was... He hacked us to death. The poor fool. He hacked us. Eh. I hate hacks. Don't you? I do. But, oh, that's good. Let's actually head over to the other side, actually. And yeah, I think we got a lot more space over here for... Running around and good stuff, yeah. Yeah, I think we got a lot more space here to run around in. 
And actually, let's break open this rock, just because that's going to be annoying. And yeah. Just running around in circles, circles. And repel war off. Put another one up. I gotta get more, wow. That was all from the legendary dogs, huh? <laughs> yeah, we went through so many repels trying to find them because the other Pokemon were getting in the way. At least this way, we actually... If we run into the Pokemon, it's the right Pokemon. Well, one of two choices. And it's they're both 1% chance. The other time, it was a 10% chance to find the wrong Pokémon, a 1% chance to find the wrong Pokémon, and a 1% chance to find the right Pokémon. So, at a 12%, it had 1%. So that's like, what? I, I don't know the percentage chance on that. Um... Um, yeah, I can't figure that out in my head. Um, if you really want to answer that, you can. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you try to figure out the percentage chance of that. But, wow, they... I didn't realize the encounter rate was so low here, but... Actually, you know what? Um, we'll meet up when we find the... Yeah, well, when we find ho -Oh, I'll meet up with you then, just one more max repel, and then we'll see where we're at with that. Actually, I should probably be on my bike, just for bike's sake, he moves faster, and yeah, and like that, but okay, um, yeah, um just let this last repel to run out, and then... Well, not last, but yeah. When I start up my next repel, then I will skip to the... When we're actually running into him, then. Alright, everybody, so... When when we find ho -Oh, then... See you then. Oh, you're missing in, you're missing in, you're missing in! There we go! Wow, I am so glad that it was the first Pokemon we found, because I'm glad we didn't find another Lugia, because that took forever. But, let's actually F4 and save state, just so, just in case we kill it. And it's gonna extra sensory, that's no big deal. Extra waterfall, and, oh wow, that did a good deal, so. They have... The same moves, don't they? I bet you they do. But let's go for a cut then. And I'm gonna Poke Gen me another Pokemon then for statusing then because this is annoying. This is just annoying. And why did I do that? <laughs> why did I heal up the barrel? Um, oh, because we were so low, but extra sensory. That was that was annoying that we got hacked, but there we go. Um, actually, no. Let's go for a Rock Smash, just get it even lower. Okay, there we go. But no more, no more, that'll kill it then. But let's throw some Ultra Balls now. We can let the barrel by now, Zombie 2. And Extra Sensory, you can do that all you want. I don't mind. P Element, you can... Ho-Oh is definitely the stronger of the two in special attack. Ho-Oh is actually weird. He's not the exact opposite to Lugia, which is odd. Because you expect them to be opposites of each other. Like, Ho-Oh would be special attack, Lugia would be physical, but no. They're not. They're not opposites. They're actually really weird, I think. I don't understand. He's actually especially defensive, but we keep getting two wiggles. It's annoying. And let's try something different, actually. Timer ball, hello. Nope, nothing. Okay. Ancient power, you can do that all you want. Um, uh, let's try nest ball. And one, 
Nope, nothing. Okay. Swift, not doing much. Um, I'm thinking we might survive another hit, so let's try a dust ball now. One, two, oh, uh, no. Okay. Natural gift. Yeah, you can do that all you want. You have no berry on you. Yeah. Whoa, my phone is going off. Hello, phone. Um, I got a message from my roommate. Um, let's see what he wants. Um, wants to know where my girlfriend's number is in his hamper. Um, uh, and, ah, uh, darn it. Um, <laughs> but considering I don't have a girlfriend, I don't know what the heck he's talking about. But, last time we did this, it worked. So let's try Nest Ball when Cyber Demon comes out. Nope, okay. Um, Extra Sensory. You can do that all you want, ho -oh. I don't mind. Timer Ball. Let's see what you're doing. Um, nope, okay. Natural gift, I don't mind. Let's try a repeat ball just for the heck of it, even though we never caught him before, yeah. Um, Swift? Yeah, you're... You're cool, ho with your crits and your... Swifts, and yeah. Extra sensory? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, um, why am I showing you this? Um, you know what, uh, I'll just use a hyper potion, what the heck, it's only 10 less, but, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna, my next t timer ball I throw, I'm not gonna throw one right now, but, let's try a net ball, actually. That's for the heck of it. Nope, okay. Um, Swift, you can do that all you want, hello. Um, Try a luxury ball. Yeah, next timer ball I throw. Once we catch him, what? Holy crap! We caught him in a timer ball or in a luxury ball. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> that is awesome. Well, I, I'm happy now. I can say that I caught a ho in a luxury ball. Okay, ho the rainbow Pokemon. Its feathers are in seven colors. It is said that anyone seeing it is promised eternal happiness. No nickname. All right, everybody. Uh, well, that's it. That's it for now. Um, Lugia, ho -Oh, both were caught today. And I gotta go edit some Muse because I gotta go catch him. Oh, uh, well, I already caught him. I gotta go edit him. So, all right, everybody. Next episode, I'm sure you can guess who's come, who's gonna be up next. Yep, heading back to Eterna Forest, people. See you then.